Winning gold in Pyeongchang, just that moment crossing the line and, and seeing the number one, um, celebrating with, with all my teammates. The, it was such a, a team effort with Team Canada, all the pilots working together, sharing lines, sharing equipment. Um, it's just such a special moment. And then, of course, finding out we tied and celebrating with the Germans as well. It was just such a big party and a great, uh, great way to cap off a, a lot of hard work. And the whole sports thing for me has never been about winning a medal. You know, that's always been something that is there as, you know, a, a prize. But for me, it was, it was about becoming the best I could, becoming the best athlete, seeing how good I could get, how high I could perform. And the medal is kind of a, just a symbol that represents all of the work that I put in and, and where I got to. And so after winning that medal, it wasn't like I'm done, you know, maybe I can still get better and I have gotten better. Even if it doesn't result in another medal, that's, that's sort of how I track my progress is just how much better I've gotten. And, and uh, those results are nice, nice memories of, of that work and that accomplishment. I think that I serve as a bit of that that anchor to kind of ground that energy and keep it focused. And it's really easy to let that just explode and go crazy and you sort of waste it in a sense. Like you want to use that excitement of the big moment but channel it into what you're doing. If you let it get away from you, it becomes kind of anxiety and, and pressure. Um, so I think that's, that's a strength I bring as a leader on the team and that's something that, like I say, I kind of got from my mom but I've also worked on a lot through, you know, doing meditation and, and working on focus and. Um, that's been a long process, but a very rewarding one.